it's ready. So it is now September, but as of August of 2019, I have officially had rheumatoid or had been officially diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis for six years. So I had an appointment in August with my rheumatologist. And so I just basically wanted to give a little rheumatoid arthritis update. So um, we really just went in there and I did not know the appointment was going to be packed as much as it was actually packed with. So some things were good and some things were very, they really bummed me out just to be frank and just to be honest with y'all. So one of the things that we actually talked about was my costochondritis. Uh, it definitely had been flaring and so my rheumatologist just asked me a bunch of questions to make sure that it was just a costochondritis and it came back that it was just a costochondritis, nothing else was going on, which is good because I had recently did a ECG at school and it turns out that I have a elevated heart rate, which I always knew that it was elevated, it just, it, I guess just when it actually is confirmed on an ECG, it's just, it's just way different. So that kind of was just different, but it's fine. So I'm just glad though that it was, that she did say it's just costochondritis and I don't have anything to worry about. So that was good. Also for anyone that's wondering, I use ECG, but it's the exact same thing as EKG. So I don't know why I even flip those around, but yeah, just to clear that up. And I also just realized I had a little something in my hair so I went ahead and pulled that out but another thing that we actually also talked about was um, basically like in the future whenever I get married um, having kids and so I had always I would say that that is my biggest worry with rheumatoid arthritis is just having kids being a mom also wanting to run my own practice and have my own career and just how will I be able to balance all of that. I also don't want my husband to have to have so much work on his back, like taking care of the kids, getting up, doing this, doing that. So it definitely was one of the biggest, that is definitely my biggest concern in my head. So shout out to all of you moms that have rheumatoid arthritis and have little ones. Y'all are amazing and y'all are inspiring me. So y'all give me hope that it is possible. So we talked about it and she just talked about it in terms of Definitely would want all the pregnancies to be planned and she would just stop my medications Typically, I've heard that when you have rheumatoid arthritis and you get pregnant your RA goes to remission They still don't know why but I mean that's pretty cool So she said that most moms will just take prednisone as needed and typically they really just don't need it And so then she says that once you deliver the baby things are different if you decide to breastfeed or not breastfeed then that does factor in to your medications but she also did say that whenever the baby is delivered typically women will have a flare-up right away and it is like the worst flare-up that most of them describe have ever had so that kind of made me concerned because of course you know right after you deliver baby then start medications then it kind of depends on if you get to breastfeed or not so that was just a whole conversation that we had but it did having a conversation with her kind of ease my mind so it was just cool to actually finally have that conversation so the thing that bummed me out I would say the most was that she told me I always knew I was rheumatoid factor positive however I never knew that I was anti CCP positive so I first never knew that that was even checked in my blood work I've never even heard of it so she told me that I was anti CCP positive and basically individuals that are rheumatoid factor positive and anti-CCP CCP positive have a more aggressive form of the disease which I always knew my <laughs> RA was aggressive so I mean I'm on medications doing this this and this so I always knew of that I just never knew I don't know I never had I never heard of this anti-CCP so it would just kind of sh took me by shock when I was sitting there on the examination table so she told me that individuals that are like this typically are on medications for the remainder of their lives and of course that just kind of i'm i'm totally fine with being on medications it does not bother me i like the medication that i'm on now because i'm on the smallest dose possible and i was able to cut out another medication so i'm only on one so i'm happy about that 
So I was, I'm okay with it now, but at the time it just really hit me because I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm tired of, I'm tired of RA. So I was just very frustrated and she just talked to me that like, you're doing well, you're managing what you need to manage. Like we have everything under control. So it's nothing that you really need to worry about. But I guess it really just took me by storm because I'd never heard of this anti-CCP thing. And I wish that I had known about it before now. But it's fine. So, I mean, thankfully my RA is controlled. And I guess it's just kind of a, it's kind of a testament that like, I'm not making this stuff up. Like a lot of people that have autoimmune illnesses feel like they're, other people don't understand their symptoms and their symptoms aren't validated. However, now that y'all can see on my blood work that I've been tested for these two antibodies and they've come back positive, that I'm not making this stuff up. So maybe it'll be more of a, people will have more of an understanding. I don't know. I'm just trying to find the positive in all of these antibody positives. So, but it's honestly, it's okay. And I have just come to terms with it now. So that's just a little update on my RA. In terms of everything else, I still eat what I eat. I just cut out, I don't cut out, but I limit the amount of foods, the bad foods that I eat, but I still eat anything that I want. I also still work out four days a week. I do weights, I do cardio, and I still take supplements, a daily vitamin, and that's really, all that I do in terms of my RA, I mean, I wear my little compression gloves, I do heat and just different things that I do in terms of that. But I just wanted to share what, how my last appointment with went and basically how my RA is doing now, six years later. So as always, you can reach out to me. Um, I'm open, email, Instagram, anything. I'll definitely respond. And I hope y'all have a great rest of y'all's day. Goodbye.